everyone uh, let me let me start with a, with a note that we are going to do this uh, workshop today and those who are not familiar with the workshop what will happen we will uh, start with uh, with our assignment that we have done so far i will review it and i will grip, give you a group task that each of you will do as a group so it is not within the same group but this is across the group so i have uh, opened up uh, four or uh, five different parallel rooms that you can enter uh, each group will enter into one room and uh, do their work i will give you the link of each room separately and once you enter into that group while you are entering into that group you should exit from this group as you are entering into the other group and we will come back to this group again probably after half an hour so after half an hour of work in each group uh, you will work so let me explain how it will work so let me look at my note okay so uh, room number 123 in room number 1 uh, 456 in room number 2 then 789 in group number 3 and then 10 11 12 12 in group number room number 4 i think we have 2 13 14 13 14 in room number 5 so let me summarize it again room 1 2 3 in room number 1 then 4 5 6 in room number 2 7 8 9 in room number 3 10 11 12 12 in room number 4 and 13 and 14 in room number 5 so we have uh, we have 14 groups and each one will go into there uh, everyone will have a task so let me present what we are going to do so let me show you the task that uh, that you will do can you see my screen which is room number 1 2 3 link is there okay yes you can see the screen okay so don't worry about the link now i have to admit you in those rooms but look at the task in the last class if we go back to our last class uh we have identified each group identified benefits and cost so if you have each group identified benefits and cost i have uh, leveled them into let me let me also bring in another another page so that we know i don't know whether you can see this one can you see this one no uh okay so let me share this page also so let me share this page uh, okay so so if you go back to our so you can see that so if you go back to our uh, rooms uh, task 1 is and this is for let's say we are doing it for group number 1 2 3 they will enter into room number 1 and we have six things almost they have identified in the last class so now given this we have i have a question for you and this is what you are going to keep a note one of them you will be keeping a note so that you can present after half an hour which is uh, level them if they are direct or indirect benefits and cost if it is not level them if it is not and then explain why it is a direct benefit and or indirect benefits or it is not task number 2 so this will take about 10 minutes maximum 5 to 10 minutes then task number 2 is if you have this four of them remember in each group you have uh, quite a lot of people so you can you can separate each one so you should identify look into the benefits and costs and say how can you value them eventually a cost benefit analysis is value is valuing the benefits or the cost is in terms of 
taka or dollar. So you have said, for example, groundwater pollution. And if you said, okay, what is the value of it? How would you identify them? Uh, so that is your task. You, you can use internet and others and let's come back half an hour time. So you have 20 minutes to discuss on them. So you can actually separate yourself into, and, and we can discuss among yourself once you fix it. So each one, so explain how would you value them. And second question is, what data do you need to find this value? So the next logical question, if I want to value in this way, what data do I need? So remember, there are mature students here, those who are master degree, they, they should also partly lead that idea that, okay, this is what it is. That does not mean undergraduates cannot lead. If they are capable, they can also. Uh, so these are the two tasks that I want you to come back to the class again. So this is how the protocol is going to work. We are all going to exit from this room and we're going to enter into the other room. So I'm giving you this in the, in the, in the chat. I'm stopping it now. I'm going into this chat and I'm going to give you the, the room numbers that you should enter for each group. So remember this, you should enter into, into those rooms uh, which is assigned for you. Okay. So you should spend about half an hour to 40 minutes in those rooms. Uh, and then we reconvene to the classroom. So if you, if you forget the classroom link, remember the PB Works has the link already. So we'll come back to the classroom from 7.15 to 7.45. We will stay in each. Okay, so remember your task. So you should actually go and, and, and do finish those tasks. In this room, I will open up and leave this, uh, uh, what do you call, the window that where the task is list, listed. I will be opening up and leave it there so that you can uh, you can see the task. So remember the task is right there. So these are the two tasks that you are supposed to do uh, in each group. So I think we can stop here and let us start going to the other room. I can actually record the video. আমাদের যে ইয়াগুলা ছিল ওই কস্ট বা বেনিফিট গুলো যে ছিল এগুলা ডাইরেক্ট ইনডাইরেক্ট আলাদা করতে হবে হ্যাঁ ওটা আমি পিকচারে তো তুলছি কিন্তু স্যার যে বলো প্রেজেন্ট করতে হবে সামথিং হ্যাঁ এর পরে হচ্ছে যে যে গ্রাউন্ড ওয়াটার এটা মনে আমাদেরকে দিয়েছে তাই না ফয়সাল ভাই না শুধু গ্রাউন্ড ওয়াটার না মানে সবগুলা এই যে গ্রাউন্ড ওয়াটার পলিউশন যে কস্ট অফ ডেভেলপিং দ্য প্রজেক্ট বাই আচ্ছা তো বেসিক্যালি এই হ্যাঁ এগুলার ভ্যালুয়েশন করতে বলছে এই যে স্যার যে প্রজেক্টের কাজ করে না তাহলে ভ্যালুটা কেমনে বের করে আসলে স্যার বলতাছে আমাদেরকে নেট সার্চ করে গাড়াগাড়ি করে এটা ভ্যালু কেমনে বের করে বা ভ্যালু বের করতে গেলে কি কি লাগে সেই জিনিসটা আমরা ডিসটরি করা আর প্রেজেন্ট করবে কে কেউজন গ্রুপ থেকে করবে আচ্ছা আমাদের গ্রুপ করতে নেই ফয়সাল ভাই কত সময় আছে স্যার লিংক আমি দিচ্ছি এক্সপ্লেইন করলে ভালো হবে তো যে হোয়াটসঅ্যাপে দিচ্ছি আমি তো বাইরে নাকি
can anyone hear me there can you hear me now yes sir yes yes sir Okay, uh, the group room number five was not working as far as I understand. Group number five did not work uh, because there's only Naeem and Akash was there. So nobody from that group, 13 and 14, only two person. I think Naeem and Akash in the yes. same group. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, yes, sir. Uh, how was the experience? Back to class. It was very hectic, sir. Huh? It was very hectic, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but was it back to was it was it back to class? Get back. Yes, sir. And and, and with the technical issues, all are okay, sir. Yes. Sir, prothom to ek tu kosto ise dhishta dhorte jashle ki hotche kane. That's how it, the classroom looks like, right? So you have yes, exactly. because of, uh, the topic was not there over there, sir. That is why we 
Yes, that, that, no, I, th I thought uh, I was listening to some of the discussion, not all of them, because I wanted to see who, what you are doing. Uh, but since I was in multiple groups, so I, my video, audio, everything was off so that I can only listen to it, nothing more than that. Uh, because, uh, so anyway, I think we, we have uh, done our, our job uh, as a group. Uh, which group want to present first? Who is ready? I think uh, my, uh, let me summarize what my job, uh, what we wanted to know. Uh, we wanted to know, uh, let me let me get my note. Uh, so there were two tasks. Task number one was uh, what are the benefits? Remember the benefits that was listed for each group? Pro most probably it is from the same presentation that you have done. For each group, the benefit and uh, uh, was listed or cost was listed, whatever you have presented. And I, I wanted them to identify whether it is a benefit, direct or indirect benefit or cost. So that's a very simple one. And then the second task, which was a bit of thinking, and I've seen a lot of discussion. I listened to quite a lot of discussion. Uh, how can you value them? Because end of the day, remember what is cost benefit analysis? If it is a benefit to the society, you have to find a value to them. Uh, and since you are all economic students, by this time you should have some idea. Obviously, those who did not do valuation course, who did not do uh, that, mostly valuation course have some lacking. But uh, that's, you know, I would not worry much. Even today in my 355 class, student presented valuation uh, because for ocean economy that was also required. So you realize valuation is a very important uh, course that you would need in almost everywhere you go. So just to give you an idea that those who did not do it, uh, you should do it. Eventually you will need it. So I wanted to know how would you value them? And the next logical question, probably mostly for the master student is that if I want to value them, what type of data do I need? Because you have to collect those data. Uh, so that last part is probably for anybody who is a master student should have some clue or answer to it. Uh, having said that, uh, uh, let us start from the room number five, uh, which I know that only two of them were there. Let's see what they have done. Uh, sir, can you go for uh, go last, sir? Eh? You want to go last? Yes, sir. <laughs> I thought I would give you a best chance. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's uh, listen to the group number. Which one? Who wants to go first? One, go one, group number one, who want to go first? Yes, sir, sure. Okay. So let's hear from group number one. You don't have to present uh, by uh, by any screen sharing if you are ready, fine. If you are not, then we can actually listen uh, as you speak. Uh, let me open up my notes just a second. Sir, our screen key data that's it. Yes, I can see your screen. Okay. Uh, so, Faisal, how are you present? Good to chat. I am here. I am here. I am here. Okay. So, first of all, sir, our third choice is here. Chilo, which is our present for the So, first, chilo, which is cost of groundwater depletion. We can remember when we are discussing which is cost of groundwater pollution. Actually, pollution, what uh, we wanted to mean was the depletion of groundwater and how it will impact us in the long run. So one of the ways to... Be no, no, let, let's is do for, uh, question number one first. G, sir. Uh, is it a benefit, cost, direct, indirect? Sir, the indirect cost. It is a cost, indirect cost. Okay, just a second. Let me let me get to my note. So this is an, according to you, this is an indirect cost. Let me keep G, my sir. note. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, good. Next. Uh, sir, first of all, cost will be direct and indirect or no, valuation of tax? No, sir. no, no. I think we'll go first with the with the, with the the first question first. Okay, then okay. Next, next one was whether uh, cost of developing project, is it a direct, indirect cost or benefit? Sir, it's a direct cost. Direct cost. Okay, land value change. The land value change ka hoche amader jonno indirect benefit. Indirect benefit. Why it is? And you think it's an indirect benefit? Anybody else from the group? 
ওনার্স Uh, I'm not passing any comment because I know that there are repetitions, so let's see from other groups. Local po- political people benefit. Sir, it's an indirect benefit. Okay, increased revenue from production. Sir, direct benefit. Okay. Next, cost of agriculture and livestock. So direct cost. Direct cost. Okay. Yes, Why it is a direct cost? Sir, a output to our mother hot silo. Now with the acquisition of the land, this output would immediately disappear. And this is a direct impact of the project. This is not an indirect impact. We are the project is physically coming in and halting the output. It amount to the hotel it as far as a land direct indirect impact salon or karana we lost the voice. So it's actually mostly direct on that particular area but as far as it will be an effect that we talk with our component to be indirect profit but indirect cost would be limited than the direct cost that's why we have kept it direct okay let us go to the same task to group number two let's see group number two i will come back to your group again for the second task okay ji sir so let's go to the <coughs> next group which is group number two and in your list you have again groundwater poly, uh, no sorry cost of accident due to traffic congestion who is presenting the uh, ami uh, alamin i will be presenting from sorry who alamin alamin okay okay uh, yes sir uh, sir amader first chilo hocche cost of accidents due to traffic congestion uh-huh. so eta ekta indirect cost তো বেসিক্যালি আমার এই এলাকায় যখন হচ্ছে ইপিজেড হবে তো এই এলাকায় প্রচুর ট্রাফিক ইনক্রিজ করবে কানেক্টেড রোডগুলোতে সো ট্রাফিক ইনক্রিজ করার সাথে সাথে মানে আমার অ্যাক্সিডেন্টের প্রবণতাও বাড়বে সো অ্যাক্সিডেন্টগুলোর কারণে আমার লস অফ লাইফ আছে মেডিকেল কস্ট ইনক্রিজ করবে প্লাস হচ্ছে যারা ইনজুর্ড হবে বা মারা যাবে তাদের একটা লস অফ লাইফ টাইম ইনকাম আছে সো এই জন্য এটা একটা ইনডিরেক্ট কস্ট ওকে নেক্সট ওয়ান ফায়ার র্যাঙ্ক ফর হাউস ইন দ্য এরিয়া আচ্ছা এটা ইনডাইরেক্ট बेनिफिट বাট এটা জাস্ট ইটসেলফ একটা बेनिफिट না এটা আমি যদি ল্যান্ড প্রাইস ইনক্রিজটাকে কনসিডার করি তাহলে আর এটা আলাদা ভাবে কনসিডার করার দরকার নেই এটা বেসিক্যালি মানে আশেপাশের এলাকাগুলোর ল্যান্ড প্রোডাক্টিভিটি ইনক্রিজ করবে সো রেইনটা একটা তার পার্ট অফ ইট সো ল্যান্ড প্রোডাক্টিভিটি ইনক্রিজ করার কারণে আশেপাশের এরিয়াগুলোর ল্যান্ড প্রাইস ইনক্রিজ করবে ওকে তো এটা একটা ইনডাইরেক্ট बेनिफिट ওকে কস্ট আই থিং দ্যাটস এ কস্ট অফ রোড এফেক্টেড বাই ইন্ডাস্ট্রিজ এটা একটা ডাইরেক্ট কস্ট এটা হচ্ছে আমার যখন এখানে একটা ইপিজেড হবে সো ইপিজেড এর জন্য কানেক্টেড রোডস লাগবে আমার গুডস ট্রান্সপোর্টেশনের জন্য তো এই কানেক্টেড রোডস গুলো আমার ইপিজেড প্রজেক্টেরই একটা পার্ট হওয়া পার্ট হওয়া উচিত মানে সো এটা এই রোড কনস্ট্রাকশন এর কস্ট গুলো একটা ডাইরেক্ট কস্ট আছে ওকে নেক্সট ওয়ান এক্সপোর্ট ডাইভার্সিফিকেশন এক্সপোর্ট ডাইভার্সিফিকেশনটা বেসিক্যালি আমরা যেটা বোঝাতে চাইছি এটা একটা ইনডাইরেক্ট बेनिफिट স্যার এটা আমার এখন এইখানে একটা ইপিজেড হইলে একটা ব্লাড ইপিজেড হইলে আমি এখানে অনেক এক্সপোর্ট ওরিয়েন্টেড ইন্ডাস্ট্রি করতে পারবো যেগুলো নট পার্ট অফ আরএনজি সো আমাদের ইকোনমি এখন আরএনজি এর উপর হাইলি ডিপেন্ডেন্ট সো যে কোনো ধরনের এক্সপোর্ট ওরিয়েন্টেড শক বা যে কোনো কিছুর কারণে বা ফিউচারে যদি আরএনজি ডিমান্ড কমতে থাকে গ্র্যাজুয়ালি সেই ক্ষেত্রে কম্পিটিশনের কারণে হোক অটোমেশনের কারণে হোক বা গ্লোবাল রিসেশন এখন যেরকম চলতেছে এরকম কোনো কারণে হোক আমার হঠাৎ করে যদি আরএনজি ডিমান্ড কমে যায় সো আমাদের হিউজ একটা লসের রিস্ক আছে সো সেক্ষেত্রে আমার এক্সপোর্টটা ডাইভার্সিফাই করা দরকার সো আমার একটা ইপিজেড হইলে আমি নন আরএনজি রিলেটেড ইন্ডাস্ট্রিগুলোতে আমার এক্সপোর্টটাকে ডাইভার্সিফাই করতে পারবো সো এটার ক্ষেত্রে আমার একটা ইনডাইরেক্ট বেনিফিট আছে তো আমি সেক্ষেত্রে তো আমি সেক্ষেত্রে এই ধরন 
হেলথ কেয়ার বেনিফিটসটা হচ্ছে এই এলাকায় কোনো ওরকম হেলথ কেয়ার বা হসপিটাল বা ওরকম অ্যাডভান্স কোনো ফ্যাসিলিটিস নাই সো এই এলাকায় এখন যারা থাকতেছে তাদের জন্য কোনো ধরনের এরকম অ্যাভেলেবেল হসপিটাল বা হেলথ কেয়ার কোনো কিছু নাই তাদের ট্রিটমেন্টের জন্য দূরে যাইতে হয় সো এখানে যদি এক ইফিজেড হয় সেখানে একটা হেলথ কমপ্লেক্স হবে অ্যাসোসিয়েটেড মেডিকেল বেনিফিটস হবে যেখানে যারা ইফিজেডে থাকবে শুধু তারাই চিকিৎসা পাবে না আশেপাশের মানুষজন যারা থাকবে তারাও সেখান থেকে ট্রিটমেন্ট নিতে পারবে indirect benefit or direct benefit it act indirect benefit cost of living will go up acha eta ke amra both indirect benefit ebong cost hisebe consider kortechi karon cost of living jokhon increase korbe tokhon basically ei alaka r ashepasher manush jara thakbe tader jonno income increase korbe ei alaka jara thakbe tader income increase korbe abar tader similar cost maintain korar jonno tader cost increase korbe তো এই ক্ষেত্রে দুইটা পার্ট আছে একটা হচ্ছে মানুষের স্ট্যান্ডার্ড অফ লিভিং ইনক্রিজ করতে পারে কারণ তাদের ইনকাম ইনক্রিজ করতেছে সেকেন্ড আর একটা পার্ট হচ্ছে ইনফ্লেশন বাড়তে পারে কারণ যেহেতু এখানে অনেক মানুষজন আসতেছে হাউস রেন্ট ইনক্রিজ বা এই ধরনের জিনিসপত্র হতে পারে সো এই ক্ষেত্রে আমার দুইটা জিনিস কনসিডার করতে হবে যে এভারেজ মানুষ এখানকার মানুষজন এভারেজ ইনকাম কত ইনক্রিজ করতেছে এটাকে অ্যাডজাস্ট করতে হবে ইনফ্লেশন দিয়ে এই এলাকার মানুষজন এই এলাকার জন্য ইনফ্লেশন টুকু কতটুকু সো আমি রিয়েল ইনক্রিজ ইন এভারেজ ইনকাম যদি কনসিডার করতে পারি সেটা কে আমি একটা সেটা যদি পজিটিভ হয় তাহলে সেটা ইনডাইরেক্ট বেনিফিট সেটা যদি নেগেটিভ হয় তাহলে সেটা একটা ইনডাইরেক্ট কস্ট ওকে थैंक यू नेक्स्ट ग्रुप ग्रुप द रूम नंबर 3 হু ইজ প্রেজেন্টিং স্যার আই উইল বি প্রেজেন্টিং ফ্রম গ্রুপ 3 হু ইজ ইট নেম আ জন গোমেস স্যার হ্যাঁ জন ওকে জন গোমেস यस सर টু স্টার্ট অফ স্যার আমি হচ্ছে গ্রুপ 7 এটা দিয়ে স্টার্ট করতেছি হুইচ ইনক্লুডেড লস অফ ল্যান্ড ট্যাক্স यस loss of land tax which is basically a foregone tax sir eta hoche this is not a benefit or a cost because it does not relate to a welfare change for the people similarly eta hoche sir it is just a, a reallocation of resources that we have within our funds so eta it's not a benefit nor a cost sir similarly hoche sir cost of health uh, uh, the, the incline in health cost due to pollution noise and air eta hoche sir our indirect cost because uh, because of the implementation or the construction of the epz it can road builds how bad then you know other economic uh, activities will uh, induce within the area so shop kichu niye sir it will relate to a higher uh, health cost for the individual as they might be affected to negative wasteful fumes and other externalities because of economic activities uh, such as congestion noise pollution then uh, <clears throat> uh, moreover basically a negative externalities is they are obviously affected hobe tara for which they might incur a higher health cost er pore ekta hocche sir group 8 te jodi ami jai ekhane hocche sir employment consideration hocche sir eta hocche this is not a benefit one of the reasons is amra jokhon already ekta epz implement korbo we have already taken this into account je amader employment ta barbe because this is one of the reasons amra epz ta okhane establish korte chhi in the first place so this is not a benefit nor a cost er pore hocche sir land cost for the project land cost hocche sir this is a direct cost for the project as it is related or associated with the cost in acquiring the land for the construction of the epz etar moddhe sir reallocation cost include hobe resettlement cost include hobe that is basically hocche as we have to acquire the land there are people already living within the area moreover hocche sir we have to you know settle them somewhere else tar pore hocche taderke ekta compensation dite hobe for the loss of the land so ei sob kichu ke acquire korar jonno je amader je expenses ta bear korte hobe for the construction of the project eta hocche amader land cost eta amra incur kortechi so as a result this is a direct cost that is incurred from the construction of the epz er pore sir hocche group 9 er jeta chilo it is depreciation yes sir depreciation cost is basically not an economical cost it is an accounting cost so thereby we would not take into take this into consideration er pore hocche sir high literacy rate ekhane hocche sir this is an indirect benefit because amader hocche due to the construction of the epz amader ekhane hocche like more people would be actually you know uh, like there is going to be a transfer of people from different regions so at the overall population enhance hocche similarly more people would be wanting to be more educated so there is going to be an incline in a number of schools within the areas similarly sir ekhane hocche one thing that we can actually 
you know compute uh, in actually uh, computing the number for the literacy rate in comparison to now is that sir amader ekhonkar je enrollment rate ta ache for hsc etar sathe jodi amra after the you know uh, implementation of the project etar pore jodi je enrollment ta ache etake jodi amra compare kori we can actually see uh, the difference between the two so ebhabe amra bolte parbo je amader ki literacy rate barche naki komche so uh, it is basically an indirect benefit for the project sir okay next group room number 4 who is presenting Assalamualaikum sir. Sir, I'm Hasib. Hasib. Okay, just a second. Yes. yes. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Sir, what? You have you have listed we have listed few things for you. Higher standard of living for the people in the surrounding area. Uh, uh, of living of people around the around the area. Hasib, you are broke breaking up. Yes, sir. Yes. Anybody else from the group? Sir, it is sir indirect. Excel benefit. Indirect. Ah, इखाने सर, अमरा जो कौन ये प्रोजेक्टर से भी आह इम्प्लीमेंट होए, तो कौन इरा आश्चर्यशेड जे मानुषेड जीवन जात्रा जे मान, सर ए इधर जो नो एक ता फुल सॉरी सर a higher standard of living for people in the surrounding area. Sir, can you hear me? Uh, you are not clear. So, I am talking about living. Uh, and, uh, is it a cost or a benefit? Sir, I am asking you something, sir. Yes. Sir, it is indirect, sir. Uh, indirect benefit, sir. Here, sir, benefit, indirect benefit. Indirect benefit. Sir, if any project is implemented, then the people around the area will be better. Sir, if any road will be improved, then the school will be better. Sir, if any hospital Okay, next one is fisheries loss. Yes, sir. Fisheries loss. Sir, it is indirect. Indirect cost. Sir, benefit. Indirect benefit or cost. Yes, sir. It is benefit, sir. Indirect benefit, sir. Why it is an indirect benefit? Hello. Yes. Why it is an indirect benefit? Sir, what kind of question is this, sir? I mean, no, I t I don't think you are. Your grammar, sir. Uh, your your voice is not clear. Your voice is not clear. Can it anyone, somebody, direct... somebody else from the group talk? Ah, uh, sir, direct cost. Huh? Can anyone from the group talk? Sir, direct cost. What you are saying is a direct cost or indirect sir, cost? Sir, जोखोन ये प्रोजेक्ट का कॉर्ड हो गया तो खोन अपना ये जे एरिया टा हाँ सर जो कौन सर ये एरिया ये प्रोजेक्ट करा है तो अपने ये एरिया जो फिशरीज़ गुला आ से तादर किन्तु सर प्रोजेक्ट जोन में डायरेक्टली उठाना होता है तो एक ऐसा डायरेक्टली इधर जोन डिमांड विल मर्जन लॉस्ट हर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आई कैन सी दैट ओके ग्रुप नंबर रूम नंबर फोर 
the land demand will go up. Is it a benefit or a cost? Sir, may I say? Yes. Sir. Yes, Akhtar. Hello, sir. Akhtar. Yes, sir. Land, land demand uh, goes up. It's, uh, it is not a uh, benefit or cost, but if the land demand goes up, the land price will go up. Uh, that will uh, be direct benefit because the landowner directly benefited by the project if the uh, the price once goes up hello sir okay the, the, just a second hello hey shunde pacchi shunde pacchi okay so so that is a yes, benefit sir. or that is a benefit benefit sir yes it's the benefit okay direct or indirect? benefit to the uh, land holder it's a direct benefit to the land holder direct benefit okay next yes sir demand for services for re resource and food shops it's also a sir uh, benefit direct or if indirect the demand uh, uh, it's uh, it's sir uh, it's also a direct benefit huh? uh, sorry it's a sir indirect benefit if uh, indirectly the if the price uh, demand for uh, food uh, food stock uh, increases uh, indirect, uh, directly or indirectly the prices will go up as a result uh, the so uh, holder we benefited uh, at the same time uh, uh, people who purchases the food uh, sorry sorry it's a benefit direct indirect benefit indirect benefit just a second In, sir, can you hear me now hello y yes Sir, basically, sir, I am the grammar sir. I can I can net two G is enough. Sir, but three G is enough. Sir, you know, sir, I am going to say that 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 I am that a benefit or a cost and your your room number seem to have a consensus that is a direct benefit sir it's a indirect benefit uh, uh, because of jokhon apnar ei project ta kora hobe tokhon 80% er je jomir price ta bere jabe so ei project ta korar jonno indirectly sir okhane impact chalte se jonno sir jomir price ta bere jacche to sir eta indirect benefit indirect benefit uh, you are in the fisheries loss but we have to consider the double counting effect you were in fisheries loss sir, and I'm what was the fisheries loss? Yes, sir. It's an uh, indirect uh, cost. Um, sir, uh, sir direct, uh, direct cost, sir. Jokhon, sir, I'm not projected hot, sir. Jokhon, sir, a fisheries loss, I'm not going to get out of here. Out of here, sir, we're well, directly going to effect the same project as you know, sir. Agent number, I consider good this is a direct cost issue. Okay, next one. Demand for services for the resort. Yes, uh, 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 saying indirect benefit. benefit. Agree or disagree? Yes, sir. Agree, Next sir. is poverty alleviation. It's a political cost, basically. Huh? Uh, so consider it, but if I uh, consider it, then it's, it's a political cost. But if I talk about poverty alleviation, then uh, we should uh, consider it as a uh, indirect uh, benefit. But it's a political uh, benefit, uh, basically, sir. It's a political benefit, but uh, if we consider it, then we will consider it as an indirect benefit, sir. Okay, but all of the non-skilled workers will be unemployed. Sir. এটা 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 নিয়ে স্যার লাস্ট এর দিন আপনি একটা কমেন্ট করেছিলেন বাট আমরা যখন ওদের সাথে কথা বলেছি ওরা আমাদের বলেছে যে আমরা সব যারা বৃদ্ধ যারা ছিল বলতেছিল যে আমরা যে অন্য এলাকায় যে কাজটা খুঁজে নিব বা আমরা যে কাজ পাবো ঠিক আছে 
এটা ওরা ধরে নিচ্ছে যে আমরা কোথাও কাজ পাবো না যদি আমাদের এভাবে উঠেই দেওয়া হয় কারণ আমাদের আসলে এখন কাজ করার মতো ভাবে এখানে যেটুকু করতেছি এইটুকুর মধ্যে আমরা সীমাবদ্ধ এরপর যে অন্য জায়গায় যে আমার কাজ দিবে পাবো এটা পুরোটা অনিশ্চিত সেই হিসেবে আমরা এটাকে কস্ট ধরে নিয়েছিলাম যেটা ডিরেক্ট কস্ট হিসাবে কারণ ডিরেক্টলি ওরা এখানে ওদের যে কাজগুলো করতেছে ওখানে নন ফর্ম অ্যাক্টিভিটিসগুলো যেগুলো করতে আসছে ওগুলো থেকে যদি ওরা চলে যায় তাহলে স্যার ডিরেক্টলি স্যার এখানে স্যার ইনফেকশন করতে এই প্রজেক্টের জন্য স্যার এই জন্য আমরা এটাকে ডিরেক্ট কস্ট হিসেবে ধরে নিচ্ছি বাট যদি ওরা অন্য জায়গায় কাজটা পেয়ে যায় তখন এটা স্যার কস্ট হিসেবে কাউন্ট করা হবে না স্যার ওই ইউ আর ডুইং এ প্রজেক্ট অ্যানালাইসিস রাইট নাও ফর এ ফিউচার সো উইল উই স্টপ ডিসিশনিফিট So shall we wait until the project finishes? Because your answer is that after the project finishes, it will not be a benefit. We don't know. Question is, what shall we do with it today? Yes, our project has implemented it earlier. So now you tell me, what is it? Is it a benefit or a cost? Or what? Sir, we have to say that it is a cost. It is a cost, sir. Direct or indirect? It's a direct cost. So it's a direct cost. Okay. okay try to learn. It's a direct cost. Sir. Okay. Try to learn how to make a clear answer direct. to a to a question. Okay. Next room number five. Have you done anything? Yes, sir. Okay. Local people's benefit, direct or indirect? Sir, local. Uh, so local people's benefits uh, so the benefits the local peoples are getting uh, this is aggregately the local people's benefits sir so the local indirect people's benefit uh, sir it can be both sir direct and indirect sir can it cannot I, be can both I, uh, uh, it can cannot sir, be both you have to give me one so local lo, sir, local local people's benefits sir okay sir it's indirect sir indirect benefits sir Okay, everyone else listening to it, I'm trying to question things for a reason. I'll come back on it. Land price will increase. Okay. So lo local land price will increase, sir. Yeah. So, uh, it's a, uh, uh, so local land price will increase. It's a, uh, indirect benefit, sir. Indirect benefit. Uh, land fill for construction of the site. The direct cost, sir. direct cost river pollution will increase sir indirect cost sir indirect cost local benefit will increase joint venture bangladesh she ownership in the sir, sir direct benefit sir indirect benefit fdi sir, increase direct, direct for exchange i think you have said it right জি স্যার স্যার আই এর আগে তো স্যার লোকাল ইনভেস্টমেন্ট উইল ইনক্রিজ স্যার জয়েন্ট ভেঞ্চার বাংলাদেশ ওনারশিপ স্যার ডাইরেক্ট ডাইরেক্ট বেনিফিটস হুম আর স্যার ফরেন এক্সচেঞ্জ স্যার এর আগেটা এর আগেটা ডাইরেক্ট বেনিফিট হবে স্যার আর ফরেন এক্সচেঞ্জ এর স্যার স্যার এটা হবে ইনডাইরেক্ট বেনিফিট সো সো অ্যাকচুয়ালি আই ওয়ান্টেড ইউ টু হ্যাভ এ ফ্লেভার অফ হাউ দি গ্রুপ ডিসিশন গ্রুপ ওয়ার্ক does and that's what workshop means we we split into a group we discuss things among us and come back and then join a plenary which is right now we are joining a plenary and in the plenary we come back so so based on this let me open up my uh, my note and and see what you have done and let me go make some comments so the first uh, uh, question we are basically answering today which is whether it's a benefit or cost groundwater pollution is an indirect cost now let me explain this direct and indirect issue what is a def what is the definition of direct benefit direct benefit you know it has to be direct to someone right indirect means uh, it's not whoever the direct person is not to them sir so i to interrupt are you buying it and sharing your screen sir sorry 
are you by any chance sharing your screen no no, no 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 oh, oh, okay, so, so, uh, okay now so i'm 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 looking at it but for uh, because these are all what you have presented okay so question that you you think about it is that whether it is when you say this is a direct benefit or 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 di indirect benefits your first question should be uh, that for whom the project is receiving giving the benefit so remember the question number 1 the project is for a purpose somebody owns the project somebody administers the project in this particular case it is the uh, uh, let's say beza bangladesh export you know economic zone authority so if beza does it whatever benefit goes to them is a direct benefit and anything that they do not own it is external to them which is indirect remember the logic should be clear what is direct and what is indirect whatever cost is to them is a direct cost and whatever cost that they are not paying but somebody else is paying that is an indirect so remember that is the logic of direct versus indirect so you think about then and then we let us come back to our uh, to our uh, point that we were discussing let me share this screen just a second so let me share this screen so that we we can see this so so f first presentation was that this was an indirect cost so remember indirect cost means it has to be outside the authority who is organizing it not outside bangladesh but within bangladesh but outside the authority so groundwater pollution will affect people outside the authority so it's an indirect cost remember the logic cost of developing project obviously beza has to pay for it so that's their direct cost land value change beza will not get benefit of it it will be benefiting the other people around it so it's an indirect benefit local political benefits also beza has nothing to do with is an indirect benefit increased revenue from production remember revenue itself is not a benefit is the surplus revenue minus cost so it is a benefit but we cannot say this is the benefit we have to find the surplus which is the benefit so remember this as a logic cost of agriculture and livestock again uh, this is uh, means that area is lost agriculture is affected again the output is uh, not a loss but the surplus is the loss remember this to be clear that when we are measuring it we have to think about it next room room number 2 alamin presented and in this case cost of accident obviously it's an indirect cost because it's not cost to the beza is cost somewhere else higher cost of housing indirect benefits perfectly all right cost of cost of road uh, and this is something i liked they said this is like is the part of the project because it is part of the project so it's a direct cost okay uh, so that's that's important for us to understand export diversification this is an indirect benefit perfect because it's not something government is going to enjoy country is going to enjoy not the beza beza has nothing to do with whether you export garments or whether you export plastic products for them is in is i i it is nothing to do with me uh, hospital and healthcare benefits to the local people are in indirect benefits perfect cost of lib cost of living will go up uh, is an indirect benefit but actually the you, you should you should look into the idea this is not a cost or benefit eventually we look at the what is the net so we have a standard of living we pay for it and if it is going up that basically means it is going up so remember this normally in microeconomics we use the index number so we use the index number to find out whether there has been last pairs remember the last pairs quantity index if it goes up that means there is an improvement in the economy so that is one room number 3 john presented and uh, 
he rightly said tax is not a benefit or a cost cost of health due to pollution air or noise in indirect cost obviously it is going to somewhere else not to the beza authority employment rightly said not a benefit nor a cost land cost of the project if it is project land which is obviously direct cost depreciation cost is not a cost higher literacy is an indirect benefit so room number 4 hasib is uh, hasib presented this one i think akhtar came in the beginning in the middle uh, higher standard of living again is an indirect benefit ecological fisheries loss uh, fisheries loss i'm not sure why it is a direct because beza has nothing to do with fisheries so remember this as a logic it has to be an indirect cost because benefit to whom always remember this idea there is a project Hello, okay. sir. sir no 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 talk no talk now listen to it please try to understand the logic there is nothing to you uh, okay. the idea is that loss is to whom it has nothing to do with beza even if it is the land within the project that land they have already paid for which is already in the land cost they are not going to pay for fish separately and fish and which will produce bill you know future fish they have nothing to do with it so uh, you have to clarify that this is why it is direct or indirect on the other hand if it is dealing with pol pollution is an indirect cost okay uh, land demand will go up uh, is a, is a not a direct benefit akhtar said is actually is going to be an indirect benefit so land demand will create benefit not the demand itself but it will create benefit surplus and that will be indirect benefit demand for services for re, for resource obviously indirect benefit poverty alleviation is an indirect benefit uh, old uh, skill people losing their job again beza has nothing to do with it is an indirect cost not a direct cost okay next group 5 local benefits indirect benefits obviously local land price is an indirect benefit land fill for construction site direct cost that's pretty good uh, river pollution indirect cost local investment will increase uh, remember local investment will increase will create direct benefit uh i'm not sure what does it mean if it is within the project area that's not what you are talking about it but if it is within the project area then it is a direct benefit otherwise it's an indirect benefit there may be uh, other sir, areas sir, surround, talk... surrounding areas that there is increases in investment so you have to define sir, it properly within... and then we say this is what it is uh, sir. okay sir within FDI, the project sir fdi increases is uh, is an indirect benefit to the economy uh perfect uh, obviously for ba bangladesh so let me let me summarize we have summarized it and i understand that every group has taken their note and there was a second task and uh, my understanding that second task was was not properly done so my objective is uh, in the next class i want you to give you some time in the next class now that you know which one is the direct benefit which one is the direct cost in the red cost in the next class i want to know that what would be the way to do it what data should i use to design it now the reason i am pushing it because i think if i am given answer is not going to work if you work on it you will get a better answer and say this is how uh, it it will it it you know we can define it or we can find it out so i want you to be using the next class when you will start talking about okay this is my benefit this is how i am going to use now let me also bring back this same screen again just a second i forgot so let me bring back the screen and and now you see this is a case for you to understand that when i look at a project uh, there are more indirect benefit and indirect cost than just simple direct benefit and direct cost number one things to observe this is why we have done our work so that we understand that when you evaluate a project the the cost and benefits are spread not within the project but outside the project also number one to think about it number two if i now do an analysis from the project point of view from beza point of view 
they will be looking at only direct benefit, direct cost. So in other words, if I am investing in a project, I'll be looking at what is known as financial analysis. What does financial analysis include? Only direct cost and indirect cost. Or not, only direct cost and direct benefit. So remember this, only direct cost and direct benefit enters into financial analysis. Anything else, and if there is a, for example, taxes, if I pay any taxes, it's also a direct cost, okay? Any subsidy I receive is a direct benefit. I got the subsidy. But in the economic analysis, which is the cost-benefit analysis, we do not include taxes. I've already mentioned it. And all the indirect benefit, indirect costs are included. So the two sets of benefits and costs are significantly different. And that is an important point for us to understand through this workshop. Okay? If I had said it, you would have never thought about it. But since you have seen the project, you know, thought about it, you created all the list and in your own list you realize there are more indirect benefit and indirect cost than simply direct benefit and direct cost. So that is the point that I wanted to make sure you understand. The second issue that we want to know that if I value the benefits, my project benefit will become bigger. If I value the cost, my project cost will become bigger. And obviously, if I evaluate the project from society's point of view, I should evaluate it from the net social benefit, which is all direct cost, indirect benefit, not all direct benefits, direct cost, minus indirect benefit, indirect cost. So that is how we look into it. Obviously, if it has a flow over time, we discount it. And we have talked about discounting rate in the last class. So remember this as a logic for us to understand. Is that so clear to everyone? For everyone? Not, see, there are two types of valuation, financial analysis and economic analysis. It does not enter into the financial analysis. It only enters into the economic analysis or cost benefit analysis. So remember the okay. difference between financial analysis and economic analysis. None of the indirect benefits, indirect costs ever enter into the cost benefit into the financial analysis. So when we look into the project from investors point of view, we only do financial analysis. But when you look into the project from economic point of view, we look the cost benefit analysis or in another way it is known as economic analysis. So you see the difference between financial analysis and economic analysis. One additional point I mentioned is that taxes are included in the financial analysis, not in the economic analysis. Subsidies are included in the financial analysis, but not in the economic analysis. Clear about it? So, sir, Yes, sir. So, sir, I'm not sure if you social welfare ideally it should be indirect benefits plus direct benefits minus indirect cost and direct cost, right? Both of them, all of them, except the taxes. Okay. Okay. So, Here, sir. Thank so, you. so now you see the separation between financial analysis and economic analysis of projects. Is that part clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, the next, obviously, next class, when you present after that, I will, I will come back again. I want you to go through this second task today. Uh, maybe for in the week, you discuss among yourself within your groups and come up with and say, this is how I'm going to do it. I want master students to spend some time on the data. What type of data will you need? That should be your contribution. Do not depend on undergraduate students. Okay? Yes, sir. Clear? to work on it remember the objective of this whole analysis is for you to start say okay if i want to do it what are the things i have to think that is the whole objective in this particular case i thought that uh, the workshop experience give you a flavor of a class at least that's what i felt when i was listening to some of your discussion uh, as a yes, group sir. which is something that you are missing must be for a month right yes, yes sir, sir.